praise him. Let us recreate. Take now Lali up. Let us make Nigeria. Let us recreate tourism. Let us recreate. Take now Lali up. Let us make Nigeria. Well, this is what we call wickedness. You can see Oshomole standing near him with the level of Oshomole, with the way he talks, with the way he, he brings out things. You know that uh, Atiku, um, Oshomole is very articulated. We know the kind of person he is. We know the kind of people, all these people who are surrounding Tinubu. We know the kind of people they are, he, like uh, Keyamu to all of them. We know the kind of people they are. FFK, we know that this kind of a thing is something that they would have brought out, they would shred the person, they would have shredded the person, they would have pieces the person, they would have turned everything in and out. How can we be opening our eyes and be seeing this kind of a thing happening over and over again? You tell me it's a slip of tongue, they are telling us it's a slip of tongue because if they themselves they have agreed to the fact that they want to be wicked because i see this one as wickedness and they want to impose this kind of a narrative they want to impose it on nigerians that nigerians should just overlook it like seriously those are the things we are talking about we've been saying little little things that we overlook we say they don't matter and that's why they have grown to be something else we have them all over the place it, they have not become our culture they've become our norm they've become pattern and that is why you see that there's lawlessness everywhere you see that people don't even Feel somehow when some things happen because we have been taking all those things. How can we tell? How can we be told that we should just overlook this? And, uh, it does not matter. There's yeah, some people or mischief makers are the ones trying to destroy this man. I don't understand. A, a, a country as blessed as Nigeria, we know too much. We sabi too much. We will not be looking at this thing. Uh, out of over two hundred million people, even in their own party, they could not even see. They we have a one or two persons that are very very sound which they know but because they believe that say oh this person has been helping me so because you are helping me now and there's an opposite there's a there's a position that is coming up i will not say because you have been helping me even when you are not qualified even when, and i know that a situation around for now you know does not even suit you and you are telling us that a, oh because he has helped you one or two individuals you now use nigeria to pay of course they have used their party to pay because he said it's his turn irrespective of anything they just have to support him they just have to support him and you want to impose that well everything just depends lies on nigerians god is telling us he's showing us things this is no matter of a oh we didn't know because in the case of war nobody envisaged that nobody knew what was coming it was really evil hidden but this one is open but you are still seeing people saying it does not matter see oshomole there now she know the cash huh? you can imagine say oshomole no day apc you for no way to oshomole for the talk with this kind of a thing <laughs> You know, it is because that's to tell you they are wicked and it's just all, all about them, what they are going to get, and that is it. They cannot even tell themselves the truth. If you want the good of the people, where well, you cannot present somebody, well, they don't have the final say. Nigerians have the final say. Then, if Nigerians are to agree to that, good and fine. This happened in Bayesa again. The presidential candidate of the APC, Tinumbu, on Thursday suffered another gaffe in Bayesa during this campaign. Tinumbu has committed several blunders in the past during his speech. While making a speech, said it is time to recreate tourism and technological up. He could not even pronounce the technological up. Is this what this kind of person that is going to? They are trying to avoid debate. We can see the reason why they are avoiding debate because I don't see. I see no reason why somebody will be avoiding debate. What, what is debate? Is debate a uh, detrimental or is it a is it a crime? I don't understand. Those who claim that they are they know too much. You see the way Lagos is, and that's why they are still telling you that uh, he built Lagos, turning things all on uh, uh, anyhow, telling us he built is this how is that is this how a sane society uh, uh, looks like? Nigerians, the ball is in your court. If you like, go and collect money from them. If you like, say now my family member, now my this, it is left for you. Now Nasabio, if you like, accept is if you like, don't accept, that is your own cup of tea. If not because uh, some Nigerians are on serious, I don't even want to use some statements or some words that some people are using. Who is Tinumbu at this era that is interesting, that is contesting for president 
when Nigeria have creditable personality like Peter Obi and Obidati to pilot the affairs of Nigeria, even in their party, they would have presented, if they have presented the, this man, the vice president, oh, at least, <laughs> Obidati will be content, will, will, be, will be, I don't even understand, they will be struggling because the competition will be too high. Because they said this is the man they, want, they wanted. Because they wanted to pay him back, they wanted to reward him. Mm. Because they always reward themselves. No credibility, and that's why we have a quota system all over the place. The good news this time around is that uh, we have option. So you will not be saying, "Hey, eh, eh, we are just stuck in between these uh, two people. We are just stuck in between these two parties." No, it is not there. We have option, and it is glaring. It is really, really, really glaring, and the option is a perfect one. So the ball is in our court. As everybody is eating breakfast, chopping wuto wuto na, eh, 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 any decision we are going to make, and they will be telling us those who are in the village they don't understand debate, they don't understand English, they are not on social media, and you are happy, you are proud of that, you are projecting that. A lot of people who are in poverty now, they are happy, they will use it as a tool, eh, they don't have this. I don't know whether those people who are in the village, whether they are not the ones, they are even the ones bearing the brunt of all, all this insecurity. The farmers, they are the ones bearing the, the problem of this insecurity. They cannot go to farm. Those ones you see that they are not on social media. They are not on social media, but physically they are experiencing greater problem than those who are on social media. So what are you telling me? Is there, is there anybody that is not being affected with all the things happening? That this APC has come to compound the problems. What? Like I said, the ball is in our court, so anyhow we see we will take and God has given us enough evidence, shown us enough evidence. And if we come out and be praying again, oh, God do it, God choose for us, God do this and this and that. If you don't do the right thing, God is not going to come back. Everything is not spiritual. That is it. We can see we are all we are all evident of what has been happening. We have been praying, 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 praying. What has happened? Hmm. The Bible says that it's not as if uh, God cannot hear us. It's not as if uh, He cannot help us. It cannot change. But because of our sins, because of our decisions that we've been taking, it's causing all these problems for us. If you see, go and be going to one place and be praying. Oh, our leader, be praying for them. For what? If we are going to be praying, we shouldn't even be doing an election. Let everybody go and pray. Then God will just say, oh, this is the person that will be the, the leader or the president. Please, this man needs rest. Don't kill him. He's becoming embarrassing for his student. I think Tinubu uh, is not even embarrassing himself. The people who are around him are the ones that are that should be embarrassed, that they, they are shameless. Because that kind of thing, if not me, how do they go that kind of thing where you say you go to fear? How do, they, how do you expect him to, to manage you? Somebody was telling us, one of the chieftains was telling us that uh, all the journalists should go and be meeting him at the campaign ground. Go and meet him if you want to, you want to interview him. Interview what? Who will he be? That he cannot go to TV stations. And that is a pride that this man has exhibited Buhari. We can see what has been happening today. So guys, let's hear your opinion and have your take on this.